Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Peace in the Valley. Bryce Steiner here, and uh, I'm going to show you the third most useful function that you could possibly add to your tractor that was not included but should have been. Uh, this tractor is a great tractor, and you know that the toolbox is probably the most important thing that was left out on this tractor. Some of you say, well, there was a toolbox that goes on the back of your seat. Yeah, that doesn't work so well. You need to get access to the fuel and putting a toolbox back here doesn't work so well. There is one on the backhoe, but you don't have the backhoe on all the time. Uh, the second most useful thing on a tractor is probably, um, probably adding on the third function valve or maybe the tooth bar. Uh, we've, we've done quite a few mods to the tractor and definitely the tooth bar is right up there with uh, with the toolbox. You really need that if you're starting out. What is the next most important, the third most important, I think, is going to be accessing your three-point lift right here. You see that? Accessing it from the back. When you're trying to hook stuff up back here, and you'll see that I obviously have the backhoe on, so it's not affected by the, the three-point, but anytime you want to back up to it, you've got this in the way. Uh, you have got this, and you, you need to be able to lift up and down. Even if you have a quick hitch, it comes in pretty handy. So I'm going to show you today how to mod the tractor, so you have the three-point lift right here, access back here, and it actually doesn't take long to do. Hello everybody, it is kind of laid out, but I had an idea hit me, and uh, when you get ideas, you don't let them go for some reason, hey, probably a fault with me. But uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to make the third most important uh, modification on your tractor. Uh, I, it's going to just be scrap material for me. I found the bottom of an old leg off of a stool. We're going to recycle that, reuse it. I found a, a piece of steel bar, which it looks like it's about one and a quarter by sixteenth. We're going to use that. And we're going to make the third most important feature on a tractor. I'll show you how to do it. This won't be a very long video. I think you could probably do the whole thing in about a half an hour, maybe even less. Right now, I'm just going to cut the depth of this into this. And this is going to become a handle. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to take this length, which is just under 1 and 3 sixteenths. We're going to make our blade at 1 and 3 sixteenths, just under. This here, we're going to cut pretty much right in the center. This is going to become a handle. Okay, put the metal aside. Make sure you have your push stick. Okay. Let's see if this slides on. It does. We'll clean that up a little bit. I'm actually going to shorten this length. So right now you can see I have this uh, old stool leg. It'll slide right onto here. Without much issue, we'll take a hammer and pound it down when we're ready. I think we'll take a router and round this off just a little bit.
Okay, part one is done. Epoxying this on may not be the only solution. In fact, I think it'd be faster to do something else. I'm thinking of doing this more because the wood actually cracked when I put in the our wood piece, our, our metal. Our next step in uh, attaching our rear three-point lift is to connect it to this right here. There is a screw hole right here where my finger is. You can't really see it that well, but it's right here and it is a 10 millimeter socket okay and when we take that out see if you can see it we now can put our tool in right back here okay just like that And we just thread that right where we want it. Of course, we have to make sure that our hole on the rod is drilled out far enough. You don't have to worry about losing the nut because it's actually welded on. Okay, so can you see back there? That's how easy that is to put on. So this is in the lowest position. Okay, and then if we take it, we can slide it out. And you can see now I'm in the highest position up here. And that is how that works. So we're gonna go take this out for a test run. Yes, you could install a bracket back here, I think and it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, let me show you what this allows me to do on with this lever. So normally I have to be up here, right? If I want to, and it's hard to see around, so if I want to lift it up, okay, I have to do it from back here, but what if now I can be over here? So of course this isn't the right width right now, but just to show you, that right back here, I can now lift and lower with this rear, the three point, which is fantastic. So now I can come back. When I back up, I can now pull to make it go higher, or I can push in to make it go lower. See that? And all of it can be done right here. If I wanted to go high, I can go high. If I want to go low, this is something that should be a feature, I think, automatically. But you can add it yourself for pretty cheap, and it works quite well. So give me your thoughts. What do you think about adding a lever to raise and lower the three-point hitch on the tractor? Like I said, I think it should have been included. Uh, it's not difficult to add. It's not expensive to add. A little bit of skills, and you can have this added on in no time. So give me your thoughts in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe if you think this tip is worth something at all. Take care, have a great day, and God bless.